this is Cherie with PassionatePennyPincher.com and I have missed y'all. I have been out. I had uh, my son's wedding. I had a uh, vacation. So I'm back and it's so good to be back and see all of you Passionate Penny Pinchers. So today we're going to make caramel apple nachos. You may have never ever heard of nachos of apples, but today is your day. This is a great dessert to just have um, I don't know, by your pool. Uh, it's just easy, easy, easy peasy. So we're gonna get started today. So you're gonna need some green apples. Um, and when you saw nachos in the thing, y'all were probably thinking something else, but y'all, this is so easy. And it's from our low calorie plan. If y'all have a box, you can find it in there. Otherwise, you can find it in the link above. It's on our website. Um, if you can't click on the link, Nicole's gonna put it in the comments. And you could also go to passionatepennypincher.com and type in caramel apple nachos and get the recipe. So it's so easy. So we're gonna take some Granny Smith apples and we're gonna slice them. Get y'all down here a little bit. So good to see everybody. Oh, y'all, it has been, June has been crazy town. So I've just got my little slicer. I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna make a full batch because honestly, uh, we don't need that many caramel apples. I'm just going to use one apple and make a small little thing. You can customize this to however you want it. Now that cut these pretty thick, but I want them thinner. So I'm going to cut them and then I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to start stacking them around. I, I did not practice this ahead of time, y'all, so if this is not pretty, uh, I'm so sorry. That one's not very cute. So how's everybody summer doing? Well, let's see. Yesterday was the official first day of summer. It has been raining, raining, raining here all week. So our garden has been going crazy. I almost thought about giving y'all a garden tour today. It's not, um, we don't have a big garden, but it's the first year that we actually have things that are growing so I think we're gonna have corn pretty soon so that is super exciting and then I'll put that one there okay so these are not perfect but you get the gist some cute little granny smith apples now if you wanted to make this ahead of time you probably could put a little lemon juice on these but I'm not gonna do that today maybe I'll get y'all a little bit closer into the apples okay y'all so easy so easy, like I don't even need my a recipe card, but I'm gonna look at it anyway. So I have taken just some white chocolate morsels and melted them down. I hope, yeah, I was afraid it was gonna get, I may just need to pop that back in. Oh, no, it's probably okay. So I'm gonna drizzle a little white chocolate over these. If it's okay. Yum. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of caramel sauce. So this is just Smucker's. You can use whatever you want. You can make your own if you wanted to. That would defeat the purpose of it being super duper easy. I'm trying to get a lot on there. Oh, I love a caramel apple. I really wasn't thinking about that today, but in the fall, Give me a heart if y'all love a caramel apple. They're so good. And then I've got some Heath chips. You can customize this to whatever you want to put on it. If you've got some chocolate chips, just have at it. Peanut butter, if you want to drizzle some peanut butter. So I'm just going to crumble a few of these on top of here. Oh, yum. Y'all, I haven't had breakfast yet, so this is looking super duper good now the only thing i'm not putting on here that the actual recipe calls for are some chopped up pretzels i was trying to make it gluten free and i did not have any pretzels so um, i'm not adding them but you could put chopped pretzels to give that salty sweet and salty thing plus if y'all have been watching the past few weeks um, when i was here i'm having to start watching my sodium which is so fun and pretzels are terrible for sodium so um Anyway, that's what we're doing. So y'all, this is your caramel, sorry, 
what in the world? <laughs> this is your caramel apple nachos. Yay, they're so good. It's in week eight of our low cal plan or you can get it on our website. I'm gonna try them so I can give y'all the verdict. I know it's gonna be good. Look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm very, very good. Oh, y'all. Well. Okay. Here's the deal. This is on our low cal plan. It's 205 calories. That's when you make a really huge amount. If you were just eating a few of these, it would be good. It'd probably be a good 100 calorie snack. Anyway, that is it, y'all. Go make some food. This is so easy, and you probably have you probably have something that you can whip it up with. If you've got some apples and some chocolate chips, some peanut butter, or something crunchy, go make it. I think it's going to be great. Y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see y'all soon. Bye.